another haul and this is one that you guys requested a ton over on my TikTok when I did a call for the best denim for curvy and mid-sized folks Everlane kept coming up again and again and again and so uh this just arrived and I haven't tried anything on and I can't wait to but Let's actually uh, start with a nice hello. I won't get right into it. If you are a returning BFF, I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for being here and building this channel and sharing your requests. I'm having so much fun sharing with you guys and honestly getting tips from you guys and saying hi to you guys in DMs. If you haven't already said hi, head over to my Instagram, say hello. It's great to meet you. I try to answer my comments here, but it's just a little bit more personal over there. And if you are a new subscriber or this is your first time watching one of my videos, I hope you stick around. Thank you so much for ending up here. So a little about Everlane. Everlane is a sustainable company. They make their plastic from recycled materials. They have a LEED certified recycling, well, they have a LEED certified facility that makes their products in Vietnam and all of their jeans are air dried. They recycle 98% of the water they use so they have a lot lower carbon footprint than most fashion brands which is something that I thought was really, really cool. The coolest part is then they take their denim and they use the byproduct to make bricks for affordable housing. So it's a company that does good and I really love to see that. So I was really excited to try that for this reason as well. Not to mention the fact that their jeans have gotten great reviews from you guys. And so many of you have asked me to try them on. So let's get into it. I will tell you what size and what style I'm trying on. And we're gonna start with the way high jean. It has a high rise, low stretch, so it's not super stretchy and I'm going in a size 32. See if we can get these bad boys on. They said low stretch. You can feel a teeny amount of stretch. There's not very much stretch. Really excited about this color and I'm really excited about the wide leg. I'm gonna make sure I'm standing far enough back for you guys to see this. Right, Whew. okay. They're called way high. They do hit really high. So these are, I wanna say, like at least a couple inches above the belly button. They're one of those ones I think are gonna be a little snug to get on. Whew. Okay, we got them on. All right, so here they are on. They are extremely high, which I really, really like. They don't have very much stretch, but they don't have zero stretch. It's like just enough stretch to give you a little bit of help. And they run a little slimmer here in the thigh, and then they widen out at the bottom. And I think they're really cute. It's an interesting color. I don't have any jeans this color. It's like a bright indigo. I'll try to see if you guys can see it in here, but I'm kind of liking it. It definitely has kind of like a vintage like flair to it. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think they're pretty cute. I love the wideness. I think they look really cute on the booty. They provide structure here. Hmm, maybe I could do a little more structure here, but I, I'm really kind of digging these. They're really cute. I'm gonna try them on with a shirt they sent. This is our Japanese square shirt, and it's kind of like a silky material, um, and I love this kind of fit, so I'm really excited. I think I'll probably leave this on for the duration. I don't know if it's helpful for you guys to see. Feel free to comment below and let me know. Do you prefer that I try it in just a bra? Do you prefer that you see it with like a tee so you see how they fit with the waistline? Um, for this, I think I'll probably just try everything on with the shirt. But in the future, if there's something else that's more helpful, feel free to let me know. This shirt is super cute. It's really, really boxy. You could definitely style this um, by tying it up. It's It would be great tucked in. Let's see what it looks like tucked or tied with this with these jeans. Here it is with a simple tie. I think this is really cute, actually. I really, really, really like this. Just an easy, everyday look. Really cute. Show you guys the butt of the jeans, how it looks with the shirt. I like this. What do we think? I think it's really, really cute. I like this. I'm going to step all the way back and show you uh, the wide leg bottom. Yes. Okay. I'm going I'm, to, I like these. I think I'm going to keep these and I think I'm going to try to wear and style them. I think these are a win. What do you guys think? Again, I'm wearing a size 32. This is a low stretch and a way high. These are the jeans that got the most hype from you guys. So this is the curvy 90s jean. So this is the curvy 90s cheeky straight jean. And I'm gonna show you the whole shape of it before I put it on. So as you can see, it's definitely like wider through the hips and butt, and then it goes down straight. It's a high rise, so it's not quite as high as this. This is a way high. There's no stretch in these, and I got a 32 as well. So we'll see how they fit. These are already taking a little more wiggle to get into, a little more thrust in the bust. Oh, wait, no, okay. It's not as bad as I thought it was being dramatic. Weird me. Oh, okay. The button in my little little area might be an issue, but we'll see. We got this, guys. They just have no stretch, which is totally cool. It's just you gotta get into them, much like the Levi's we played with. 
Listen, we got him up without laying down and that in itself is victory. Whew, we got him on and I think they are so good. I was just trying not to lose a nail tucking in the freaking pockets, you know, like when they're like tight around the hips. So these are one of those ones I'm hoping that you kind of wear in and then they're perfect. They are a little snug here, but they look fire. Like seriously. So they are still pretty high. Um, the, they definitely are cut to like fit your curve. This is why they call it curvy though. You can tell because it's tighter at the waist and then you can see that it's, it like is made to accommodate a little bit more hip and booty, which I really like. I'm really into these. I think this fit is so good and I'm not really into black jeans right now, but like the straightness is just right. A lot of times these straight jeans for me, they're too snug around the calf and they almost like translate as like cropped skinnies, which is not what we're going for. This is a true straight jean and you can tell that it's cut for curvy bodies, which is really exciting. All right. So while I love the fit of these jeans, Emily just pointed out to me that you can see visual, like a visible gapping here. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera very well, but um, I can really see it in the mirror where it's like, you can see that it's struggling to fit over like if you carry a little more extra weight like I do, which I think a lot of us curvy girls do right here, um, it seems like it's kind of struggling and it, it's the buttons, like there is like a gapping, which I'm a little bummed about because I love these jeans. And otherwise, I think this is the size 32 is perfect. But because of this gapping, I'd almost want to size up to a 33. But then, then I feel like it fits so well like in the butt and everywhere else that I don't really want to compromise the way it fits everywhere else. So I might wear these for a day and see if that kind of gives because there is no stretch. So if this is one of those pair of jeans that you kind of have to like break in, so to speak. So I'm actually gonna try the same pair of jeans on in a different wash just to see how they look. Sad day, these ripped when I was putting them on. That's not, not a good sign probably, see? Um, I was putting them on and this little, I was trying to do my little like, like stretch out move and it, I just must've done it too hard. I don't think that I even honestly did it. Like I wasn't being crazy by any means. This, I don't know, I'm wondering, they might run a little small. Like I might need more of a 33 in these um, instead of a 32. I generally have been doing 32s across the board, including in the Levi's, but maybe the thing is, I feel like they run so great here. Like I wouldn't want them any bigger in this area. And then even in the waist, like they're great. It's just um, right here. It's like, since there is no stretch, we are getting this gapping. And then we had, we had an accident. <laughs> Can you see it? Can I live? Here has the fit of the straight on bottom. But again, like in the thighs and legs, I think the fit's great. I really do wonder if this is just a case of needing to break these in. Have you all ever tried Everlane? Do you think they run small or have you ever had success breaking in a pair of completely no stretch jeans? Because I am actually super into the fit of these, but I do agree that maybe it's the gapping. So do you think that I should order a 33 and try again? Do you think I need to size up? What's your opinion? I ordered the 33 in the button ups, the two pairs that seemed a little bit tight at the 32. I just wanted to see if the 33 would fit better because they were so snug. So let's give it a try. Already they are much looser coming up. The shoot. Someone say go by the Just pretend you didn't hear that part. I'll show you guys how they button. Oh my gosh, these are like night and day. The gapping is not gonna happen. Again though, it must just be the way that I carry my weight like right here. The fact that I have a booty and a front butt at the same place. This is obvious, I just have learned, this is not a fupa. This is a fupa. It's a fat upper pelvic region. All right, so here are the 33s. They definitely fit a lot looser through the leg. Um, they're more of like a boyfriend fit, I would say. Like I almost preferred the like really snatchedness of the 32, but these obviously lay a lot straighter here. So what do you guys think? They're a little, I wonder if they're just like a little too loose here. Um, and what I noticed is that the back gaps quite a bit. You can't see it with my tank, but I'm gonna try and show you. There's quite a bit of gapping here at the back, which I don't love. And I feel like the, um, like the leg and thigh is just a little bit looser here too which doesn't give you that little lifted butt moment that you want. So I guess it depends on the fit. I might be like right between sizes, which just could be the case. I think it just really depends on the kind of fit you want. So I actually reached out to their team and asked them about the fit. And they said that if 
it, it won't stretch out beyond two to three wears. So I, I haven't worn the a little bit tighter ones for two to three wears. So maybe I'll give that a try and see if those stretch out to perfection just like my Levi's did because I feel like if these stretch out, they'll be just a little bit too big. They'd be a boyfriend fit, but they're not gonna have that like high and tight fit that I want. But let's try them in the black and just see. So this is actually a different style. This has a zipper and I haven't tried any with a zipper yet. So this is the 33 curvy cheeky jean high. It has low stretch. This is the curvy cheeky jean. So I think it might be, I don't think we've tried this one on. It's a new style. Oh my goodness, okay. So this is the third style that we haven't actually tried on yet. It has a zip crotch, zip crotch. It has a zip front. It's a curvy cheeky jean and it has a low stretch, but that means there's still some stretch. So it's a 33 regular, let's see how it fits. All right, so here are the 33 cheeky straight. They actually are a little bit big. I really think I might be right between the 32 and the 33. I will say the stretch on these is so comfortable. The quality of the denim feels amazing. I really, really, really like this. I think I would probably just size down in these. So my verdict is in Everlane, if it's your, if you're getting anything with any stretch at all, make sure you go true to size. And if there's no stretch, be prepared to need to stretch them out. They're gonna be really tight. Or if you want a looser fit, size up. Got these adorable little platform shoes. They're just canvas, but they're kind of cream. I think these are so cute and such a must have for the summer. This plain little kind of muscle tee tank thing. Just kind of cute throw on. This is the softest chambray shirt you will ever touch. This is so soft. Okay, this could be such a vibe with these jeans. I'm gonna try it on. I'm obsessed with the way this fits and I'm not normally like a button up kind of girl, but I'm just having like such a specific vibe for this right now. I think this would be so cute if this is like up like this and we unbutton this to here and do like a bunch of like gold like layered necklaces. Oh, this is so cute. Even maybe one more down. Or if we could even like exaggerate like how it goes off the shoulders. Oh my gosh, this is cute. This is super cute. I love this. Oh my gosh, I think this will be so cute. Like even tied or tucked in, let's tie it. This is the softest, best shirt. I'm obsessed with the fit of this. I never thought that I would be a, a, a strawberry shirt girl. We're just gonna leave one button here. Let's see, oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute for the summer. I'm obsessed. This is so good, right? I think it would be even cuter tucked in. Let's see, probably you should have rebuttoned that, but I didn't. With like the high waistedness and this, and you could do this with like a belt. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I feel like this is just one of those must have pieces that you could wear a million different ways. And I'm telling you without even having washed it at all, like it has just like such that soft, worn in almost vintage quality. And the fit is so good. I'm wearing a 12 and I could see this just honestly being styled so many ways. And it's such a good throw on. You could even do it like open, like with a swimsuit as like a little cover up. So cute. Okay, I'm obsessed with this shirt. Super, super excited because I also have a white shirt and linen in a 12 to try on. So this is the same style I'm assuming. And judging on how much I'm loving this chambray and I'm telling you, if you've seen any of my videos, I'm so glam, this is so on me. So the fact that I love this <laughs> says a lot. I think we all need these classic pieces, but this is just a white shirt and linen. So I'm gonna throw this on. This will be perfect for the summer with like, oh my gosh, with shorts, with anything. Woo! I don't think I understood the significance of finding the perfect fitting button up until I experienced this one from Everlane because holy moly, I feel rich. It feels good to feel rich like this, okay? It feels good. So as you can see, it's linen. I love that it, it fits perfectly in the arms and shoulders. It's not too tight, but then this area is a little bit snugger and more fitted to the bod. I'm wearing a size 12. You could size up if you wanted it to be like way oversized to just like throw on for the beach or whatever, but I'm obsessed with this size. And this is like what I would wear. I would wear this like really like undone and just put a bunch of like gold chains and jewelry and then wear, this would be super cute with like sh honestly denim shorts, but I would probably do this with either jeans or denim shorts. Love, I'm obsessed. And I honestly am like, if you were to be like, you want a white button up? I'd be like, no, that's so boring. But this is so beautiful. It looks so elegant and classy and expensive. That it feels like such great quality, which is what I really feel like 
when it comes to brands like Everlane, like you can get really quality pieces that will last you for years. And then you can get more like fast fashion things from other places, but it is sustainable. So I love that a lot of their pieces are very classic feeling. Like, come on, she's rich. She's just rich, she just is. I added my necklaces because I couldn't just like, I couldn't wait to see how this styled out and I'm obsessed. I honestly am calling it. I feel like everybody needs this shirt. It's such a perfect throw on for anything and it just looks effortlessly elegant and expensive as we love. This is so cute, I'm obsessed, this is so good. Okay, well, this is my favorite show of the summer. Catch me in this all summer long. Also, they sent this really cute bag, lol. It reminds me of a bag my mom had in the 90s. So it's just this little like woven guy. So cute, just throw this on. What a fun, oh, excuse you. Everland did reach out and offer to send some things after they saw some of my try on videos, which was really exciting. But obviously all opinions are my own and I gave an honest review as I always do. And I'll always let you guys know um, if I was paid to promote something, I was not in this case, but they did send the clothes. So I just wanted to be honest on that. And yeah, let me know what other brands you wanna see me try on. Head to my TikTok for more short form fashion videos and head to my Instagram to say hi and for just more like vibey stuff over there. If you are a new subscriber or you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, that bell so you never miss a video. I'm so grateful you're here. And if you're a returning BFF, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.